Ura Wamashigeri, the hook kick. The hook kick. Well, this is my variation of a hook kick. One of the worst kicks that I throw. It's horrible. Either, and I'm gonna vary it. Most people throw hook kicks to the head. I like to throw my hook kicks to the thigh and I land it into that meat. I use the ball, the heel bone, and I land it into the meat of the thigh. And I also often go to the body. Horrible. It's so directionless, like if this is stab to the body. I also go to the head with this kick. I'm going to show you all three variations. And I'm going to show you how to do it in training, how to do it in the real fight, and how to do it against your sparring partners. Keeping this traditional, so I'm going barefoot. Whoosh. So this is one of my favorite kicks I often land in training. Simple, it's very misdirectional. It, it makes your opponent not sure of what you're throwing. Your opponent can't tend to figure out what's coming next. Watch this. I often throw this kick and how I set it up is I tend to go for an inside leg kick against my opponent. So I throw an inside leg kick, one, to the inner thigh. I tend to, and I go again to the inner thigh. And then fake the inner th thigh kick, I miss on purpose. So I go, miss on purpose, I chamber and I come down with the heel, the heel bone into the thigh muscle. That's like basically getting stabbed with a sharp object, it kills the leg. Inner leg, boom! You don't expect it coming. What you'll find sometimes is when I throw the short inner thigh kick, your opponent has, has received it the first time. On the second kick, remember you're just baiting him in. On the second kick, it's a fake kick. You're just making him want to see his reaction. So on the second kick, I tend to want to see his reaction. And majority of the time is, your opponent's reaction is this. Step away, it's just basic. You just step away from it. That's the basic defense from a, 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 an inner thigh kick. So I go to throw it, as they go to defend, they step back a little, I extend my leg with a hook kick. Kick. Extend, hook kick. The, I always naturally put the spin in there because the spin helps if they try and attack you, if that kick doesn't really land effectively. Second position that I go for is to the body. So I attack their legs, attack the legs. When they're not expecting it, I go and I pull to the body. Heel in. You dig it, remember, it's your heel bone. It's a sharp bone. It's almost like landing with an elbow. Your heel bone is almost probably more sharp than landing with your elbow. It's a Here we go again. So I fake the inner leg. I land one. I fake the second one. I miss on purpose. I chain back and I land. And I finish with a spin. You don't necessarily have to finish with a spin, but personally, I like to finish with a spinning back. Back fist. That's to the body. Now to the head the most devastating, because they don't expect it coming. Inner thigh, boom. They probably think you're going to the inner thigh again. If you land a hard enough inner thigh kick, they start dropping their hands, trying to defend. It's human reaction. People tend to do this to, to defend the kick, if you land a hard kick. So I go inner thigh. They think the inner thigh is coming again. I go, I flick it, and I boom, to the head. To the thigh, boom, to the outer thigh, inner thigh, to the body, boom, inner thigh, head, boom, boom, boom. However, this, the way I've been la I land there with my heel, in training, I would only ever land against my training partners 
I tend to try and land with my foot as a slapping effect because that does not injure your training partner. To the thigh with the heel, yes, that's fine. I, land, I tend to land that. But if you go into the body, still fine. But to the head, remember this, remember this heel bone could potentially knock your opponent out or cut them open because it's such a sharp. So you probably don't want to be landing with the heel in training. Yes, in a fight, you would land with the heel, perfect to get the knockout or to cut your opponent. But in a training environment, this is how, how I personally would rather land it. Same thing, in the thigh, boom. To the head, I come and I slap with my foot. So I'm landing, rather than landing with my heel, boom. Then with the hook kick, I land with my foot. I land with the ball of my foot. So it's more of a slapping effect against your training partner rather than a, a try and a knockout effect. And obviously when you're sparring, you want to bring your power down a little. You don't want to be throwing too much power. You want this, boom, try that. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm just going to slow this down and break it down for you, the steps into landing this hook kick. After I've thrown my inner thigh kick, boom, I land back step, watch my step, kick, I land back step to my original stance, I then chamber as if I'm going to throw again. Remember, on the second occasion, I'm going to miss the kick on purpose or because they defended by stepping away. I miss on purpose and I chamber my kick here. This is where you're generating your power from. Lift, chamber, kick out and down. Then I spin to add a little bit of salt on top. <laughs> so watch that again. First kick, I land, boom, back to my stance. Second kick, I don't care if I land or if they defend. I'm happy if they defend it. I don't necessarily want to land this kick. So I go second, chamber. So see that motion? That motion of me kicking out makes me chamber my kick, ready to hook down, spin. Okay? One more time. I land my inner thigh kick. Second one, I don't care if I miss. And I hook, boom. So on the second kick, as I miss on purpose or because they're defending by moving the leg out the way, that gives me the opportunity to chamber. So see that? I kick, chamber. That's where the power's coming from when you raise your leg up. Kick, miss, chamber, and fire back. Boom. Kick, miss, chamber, fire back. So that comes to the head, to the body, and you can go to the head. All the chambers are all the same. So you're chambering the same. Kick, miss, chamber, kick, miss, chamber, kick, miss, chamber, head. You chamber the same way with all the kicks, except you have to open up your hip a little bit more, depending on where you're going. So if you go to the leg, you open up, if you go to the body, you open up a little bit more. If you go to the head, you have to open up almost like a spinning back kick, spinning hook kick. Well, I haven't done any kicks for a while, so I thought I'll show you guys that little tip. It's a little trick that I like. It lands all the time. It doesn't matter who against. I land it repetitively all the time to the, to the leg, to the body, and to the head. And I tend to land them at will. Try that, try it on the bags at home.